Welcome back Vault Dwellers to Fallout 4 Mod Shop and in this episode I'm reviewing Conquest, build new settlements and camping by the author Chesco. Now this is one of those mods that I'm sure a lot of us have been waiting for and it's arrived just in time for survival mode. Why you ask? Well, the first feature of this mod is the ability to set up a camp virtually anywhere, which obviously slightly adjusts the balance of the new survival mode beta. Remember, you need a bed to sleep and thus save the game in survival mode, making them possibly the most sought after object in the game. So clearly the ability to craft a sleeping apparatus is cheating, right? Well, not really. It does depend on how you look at it. From a logic standpoint, you could easily set up a small camp in real life, and other than a save and a few buffs, the survival mode will be largely unaffected. And as with most mods, it's down to you the user when you use it, not to mention that survival mode isn't necessarily everyone's cup of tea. Actually building your camp is rather simple. Head into your pit boy and find the item called Action, Build Campsite, which can be found under the Aid category. Use this and then exit out of the pit boy and you'll be able to place your camping supplies. Your camp is limited to more basic features, such as cooking pots, tents, portable generators for the use of lights, scrap quality weapons and armour, and of course somewhere to sleep. But you are limited to a sleeping bag at a camp, which again is logically sound. And remember, even in survival mode, sleeping bags don't offer the same benefits as a standard bed in the first place. Although you also have to be wary of where you want to camp out or even place your settlement as it's forbidden to set up shop near any settlements or cities. But now is where the fun really begins. Yes, we can head into the expansion menu of a campsite and create a workshop which converts your camp into a full blown settlement. We even get to brand it from a pool of 10 different names, with the names actually dedicated to some of the quality assurance engineers who spent countless hours testing Fallout 4, which is a great gesture. I would personally love to see a custom naming option as well, but that may not be possible at this time and it isn't a deal breaker in any case. This means you can plop down up to 10 custom settlements at once around the wasteland. But hold on for a second because you need to exercise some strategy and forethought before creating that new town of yours if you want everyone to survive and obviously flourish within it. Your first planning strategy should be to scout your potential settlement site to see what animals and or people are roaming around the area. This is extremely important because you need to know what defences to build up to keep those enemies at bay and keep your settlers alive and healthy. For example, you may decide to build your little town unknowingly next to a nest of death claws, or even near some bandit camps. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can imagine the result in chaos already. It's also worth remembering that your settlers are also quite idiotic, or perhaps simply heroic, as they will run past the wall of defences you built for them to go help other NPCs in need, such as the Brotherhood of Steel, or even the merchant who's been fallen upon by bandits, which puts them at risk of certain death so it's maybe not the best idea to plant your settlement near any friendly NPCs, unless of course you love chaos. Constructing a settlement's facilities works exactly the same as vanilla settlements, which means you need to first craft everything your potential settlers would need, such as their beds, food and water resources, and of course a radio tower, which should bring you some budding new survivors. The custom settlements also impose no build limits, so it's best to exercise some modicum of self-control here, especially on your main save. And as with vanilla settlements, try not to block the entrance ways and create a nice path through your settlement, otherwise you may find no one turning up at all, or perhaps even merchants getting stuck inside. And yes, you can even craft a supply line in each custom settlement, connecting your network of towns together, which is the icing on the cake. And yes, you may notice a small delay once you build one when accessing the workshops, but Chesco reports this is purely down to how the base game functions, and honestly the fact that you can even connect these custom settlements at all makes it well worth the wait. Although my favourite function is the ability to send your settlers and followers from other settlements to your new custom ones, just like in the base game, and because you can literally build up a settlement anywhere, your non-essential settlers are at an increased risk. Perhaps there's a bandit camp between both settlements, or if it's just really far away, your settlers may not survive the arduous journey through the wastes, so keep this in mind. Or rather than sending them one long distance, move them to a closer and closer settlement each time until they reach their intended final destination. Think of it like a simple game of chess with disastrous consequences. 
And despite it being not the best idea, you can even build settlements inside interiors. Although obviously, supplies can be an issue, and just like building settlements outside, if there were enemies in the building you've set up your new settlement inside of, they will respawn eventually, and of course will pose a threat to your settlers. It's also worth noting that indoor settlements get no map marker, so if you do make one, you better jot it down. As for bugs, I was fortunate enough not to experience any at all actually, which is a rare feat for me. I break every mod I touch normally, but Conquest held up. Chesco has mentioned a few issues though, albeit minor ones, such as not being able to send someone to the current settlement you're standing in, which is fixed by simply moving outside of the build range. There's also a cosmetic bug within the pit boy when you save and load inside a settlement, being that your settlement may be renamed Commonwealth or something similar, although it didn't always happen to me, and it can be fixed relatively easily by saving and loading from outside the settlement. Lastly, and possibly the biggest issue so to speak, is merchants not working within your custom settlement. Besides the clinics which do work, but with Chesco's skill and modern experience, I'm pretty sure that'll be fixed in no time. Conquest is the perfect addition to anyone's game, and some temporary issues aside, the mod achieves its goal in grand fashion, and will surely be a must-have mod for settlement addicts for years to come. As always, if you like the mod, take a second to leave Chesco an endorsement, or perhaps even a donation if you love it. I'm sure it will be very appreciated for the time that is put into modding Fallout 4 and Skyrim. Like if you thought the review was awesome, Thumbs down if it plain sucked, leave your opinions on the mod in the comments section, and subscribe for more in-depth Fallout 4 and Skyrim mod reviews. I've been Vault Boy Steve, and I'll see you all next time.